Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. This is now getting very interesting um, here because Solana now needs to decide, does it go for a fifth wave to the upside and can we then count five waves up of the 10th of June low? Then we have a potential bullish phenomenon and structure here and we can say that the low might have been in on the 10th of June, a lasting low in a wave two. <clears throat> However, if it leaves it like that and comes down further and we only have a three wave top, another low is likely going to happen. And at the moment, as I said to you before, as long as we only see a three wave top, another low has to be the preferred scenario because it can easily be counted as an ABC correction. The only thing is that what might make me potentially more bullish in this structure is because the wave four, what we have counted as wave four, is a little bit stronger than it would normally be ideal and preferred. And therefore, I'm very much focused on the yellow count as well. Probabilities are fairly balanced here, I have to tell you. And it's really the market that needs to give us a signal here. With five waves up, we have the possibility to count a three wave pullback and to define the next possible setup, because this would be a so-called one, two setup. Um, until then, I'm you could say bearish against the 1770 level now yeah, because obviously it's an ABC top and it could easily make another low in the $12 region, low $12 region or the $10 level. Yeah, So $12, $10 are the next support levels if it goes for another low. But if it breaks above 1770, I mean, that's pretty much the signal we are waiting for to be more bullish. Then you can get a five wave move up as a leading diagonal only, however, because you have an overlap between yellow wave one and yellow wave four. This is not possible in an impulse. So at best, it would be a diagonal. I do not trust diagonals. You can't trust diagonals. So while this would be a five wave move up, um, it could also easily be a WXY structure, for example, due to the overlaps. And because of that, price then still needs to prove itself in showing us an ABC structure to the downside to hold a higher low, ideally the 78.6 retracement of this move to the upside. We will be able to define it then. And then it needs to prove itself by going above that wave one high. And then we have a formal confirmation that a low was in here. Um, it could, it you know, it's it can then, then still go down, obviously, but we have at least a potential trend reversal pattern, which at the moment we just don't have, okay, because we only have three waves down. And so far, it's it's followed the micro pattern really nicely, shared it with you in the last few days here, that we possibly in the yellow count had an A wave down, a B wave up, and a C wave down in five waves as an ending diagonal as well in wave four, another low was still missing. It did that now, and that's why I'm telling you that it now needs to decide really, right? It now needs to decide, I mean, um, this is a potential ABC structure in an ending diagonal, the C wave. Yeah. Alternatively, of course, you can count it in the move to the downside here, um, also as some kind of a diagonal structure. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, it would be a wave one, a wave two. You could say this was the wave three, the wave four, and maybe the wave five still in the making. And that would maybe do the wave one of the wave five. You know, there are different possibilities. Don't want to get too micro here because we're not dealing with an impulse. We are dealing here with a diagonal pattern, probably also on the way down. So it is very messy. Um, to be fair, the move down looks corrective, the similar way as it looked here. Yeah. Therefore, another move up is certainly not unlikely. Therefore, I told you probabilities are fairly balanced and we just need to wait for the market to tell us now if it wants to change trend or not. So, you know, to, to make it also, maybe to visualize it a bit better or to make it clearer, we are here possibly in a trend change situation. Um, Solana tries to change trend back to the upside, but this is basically the point where that attempt to the change the trend to the upside can easily fail if it goes a bit lower, right? So yeah, this is getting interesting now. And ideally we're getting now to a point where we finally get a bit, of, bit more clarity at the moment, it's just a corrective mess here, you know, very similar to what it did here. So it can easily break down, yeah, easily break down. So it is really that pullback, yeah, eventually in the ABC structure that needs to hold. 
Here, for example, we had a similar situation. Also here, we had a diagonal structure and it, did fa uh, it failed to hold the pullback. And therefore, we need to see the pullback hold the 78.6 retracement. But again, we can only measure that if we get five waves up. Yeah, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.